guys, it's Riot. Welcome to another video. So today I'm building a Tudor mansion and um, at first the funny thing is I started out, I really didn't want it to be a mansion. I was like, I'm just gonna build like, you know, a little house. Um, you know, I know I want this cute little like sort of um, chimney to be like out in the front and be like the centerpiece of the house, um, but it's not gonna be that big. And then of course I keep building, keep building and it becomes a mansion again. So here is another mansion. I guess I just can't help but build giant things in The Sims because I start building them on these giant lots. And I'm like, I want to fill these lots. So basically almost all the builds I do are on these huge 64 by 64 lots. But um, I guess that's just the way I like to build. So, you know, it's just going to be that way. <laughs> so um, yeah, I originally started out just with this little house kind of section up here. And then I keep adding on to it. I add on to the right and I sort of create a whole little... Um, sort of courtyard area where you can like basically park your cars and I know you can't have cars in the sims but I put a, a few debug cars in there just to kind of hold the place and make it seem like that's what it would be used for um, and then that kind of leads into um, a sort of like pool area I have like a little like canopy area um, in the back of the house and basically this house is in two sections there's this main house that I'm building and then there's also like a house in the back of the courtyard and they connect um on the second floor on the first floor they don't they sort of just connect through the outside but um there is like a little undercover area um on that first floor there and there's like some outdoor seating and just like a dining table and just a bunch of plants and stuff um so there definitely is plenty of room for however many sims you would like on this lot um there again just like the last couple builds i've done there's basically a room for everything there's um an art studio um a couple rooms just with planters there's even a whole storage room that I just put like a bunch of crap in because I wanted to fill the space so I kind of made it like its own storage room just with a bunch of like I don't know extra storage items that I don't know like boxes and stuff that maybe the sims would have their extra um extra place to like keep their items that they don't um want to keep like in the house um but I also have a gym, um, a few living rooms, uh, a sort of like a room with just a chess table, which is kind of weird, but I didn't really know what to put in it. Um, <laughs> uh, a few, or I have a library. I have um, a sauna room, a movie room, basically anything that you could ever need is also in this house. So of course it's another huge mansion and you can kind of see it coming together. Um, but yeah, um, I did um, I did not record myself, uh, furnishing the inside, but I did sort of do almost like a stop motion kind of, um, furnishing style. I'm kind of trying like different things when it comes to interior decorating, um, in the video because I do like recording myself in the process of building on um, the exter exterior, but on the interior, I sort of like to take my time. So I kind of wanted a different way to kind of show the end result. So let me know if you like that style. I know it's a little bit different, um, from what I usually do. Um, and it's different from what I did last time, but I think last time in my last video, it was kind of choppy. So I wanted to make it sort of, sort of more smooth. Um, so this way I'm able to kind of show the whole layout of the house um, as I'm doing it and it'll make a lot more sense when you're seeing it happen but just a little um, heads up for the interior decorating but um, I do basically just have the whole exterior um, the same way that I normally build it you can see me sort of like playing around with it messing around um, trying different things and I did it did take me a while especially to build this back area um, at the back of the courtyard but um, I do end up figuring it out at the end I do cut out a lot because I'm just kind of fiddling with it and it's just kind of boring like I know you don't want to see that so um in the end it does all come together um I cut out a little bit but then I also show me doing all the terrain paint and all the um plant decorations all the landscaping I include um that's honestly my favorite part because it's really make it makes the house what it is that and the wallpaper and you'll you'll see me in a second I once I uh, basically build the entire shell of the house I do cut out the part where I'm like figuring out all the wallpaper because it did take me a long time so I cut that out but um, I think you'll be able to see um, in the end it turns out really nice and I'm glad that I was able to kind of like mix and match wallpapers I usually don't use brick that often um, but this time I used brick with stone and with like the paneling that comes with the um, get together um, 
just wallpaper and I think it works together really well and I'm kind of glad that I ended up trying something different because I think um, the contrast of the different um, sorts of wallpaper kind of look nice together so I really liked using the um, classic get together stuff with the stone from Discovery University and just with um, the brick I forget what the brick what pack the brick came with I think it was um, possibly the game pack um, but it wasn't like one of the expansion packs it was just a random brick but um, it definitely, any other brick could probably match with it if you don't have that. Um, but I did use almost every expansion pack. I think I, I don't have the, um, the new one, the cottage living yet. I'm going to wait until it goes on sale, but I do use every other expansion pack, I think in this build. And I use a lot of the game packs. I don't think I used all of them cause I don't have all of them, but I used a majority of them. So unfortunately you will probably need a lot of the uh, packs if you do want to download this and have all the items in it but if not it will if your game is updated it should replace the items with um, um, items that are similar to it just that don't come with the or that come with different packs so um, you can see I'm using tool a little bit just to change the size of the chimneys um, in the back there and I also did use it to change the size of the chimneys in the front as well um, and you don't need tool to download this it won't affect your game it'll come just in the same size there and I also use tool a little bit to change the sizes of the rugs. I love using it for the rugs because some rugs are just like the perfect size, but um, or the perfect shape, but the wrong size. So you can ch always change the size and it'll fit into a room much better. So I use tool quite a lot for that in this build. Also, I, I might have used it for the curtains. I think I used it to um, raise and lower the curtains to my liking. I do that a lot also. So basically you don't need tool to download this, but um, it will. So it will come if you have the object from the expansion pack, it will come with that object and it will already be moved or scaled to the right degree, the one that I did. So that's the one good thing about Tool. You don't need it um, in your game to download something that used Tool. So that's just a little heads up there, um, just a little side note. Um, and I do use Tool in most of my builds. I just don't think I say that very often. I don't really announce that. So just in case you were wondering and you didn't know. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this video. I really hope uh, you guys enjoy it. Um, I really thought it was going to be um, hard to come up with another inspiration or another in, like inspiring photo or like any sort of idea to come up with a build because um, I had built something very recently um, and it usually takes me a while in between builds to come up with something but um, I was really happy this came together pretty fast so it only took me I don't know a week or so to bring it all together so I'm really glad um, it worked out and I really hope to bring something to you guys soon we'll see what my inspiration is or if my inspiration is flowing in the near future. But um, until next time, I'll see you guys. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Thank you.